you have news today. Um, the, the, the news is that the administration is going to provide cluster munitions to uh, the Ukrainians. These are weapons that 100 nations ban, including some of our closest NATO allies. Uh, when there was news that the Russians might be using it, admittedly, against civilians, your then press secretary said this might be the constitute war crimes. What made you uh, change your mind and decide to give them these weapons? Two, two things, Fred, and it was a very difficult decision on my part. Uh, and by the way, I discussed this with our allies, discussed this with our friends up on the hill. And uh, we're in a situation where Ukraine continues to be brutally attacked across the board by munitions, by these cluster munitions that are, have dud rates that are very, very low, I mean, very high, that are dangerous to civilians, number one. Number two, uh, the Ukrainians are running out of ammunition. Uh, the ammunition that is, they call them 155 millimeter weapons. This is a, this is a war relating to munitions and uh, the running out of those, that ammunition, and we're low on it. And so what I finally did, took the recommendation of the Defense Department to not permanently, but to allow for in this transition period where we get more 155 weapons, these shells for the Ukrainians, to provide them with a, something that has a very low dud rate. It's about one, I think it's 150, which is the least likely to be blowing. And it's not used in the civilian areas. They're trying to get through those trenches and those, then stop those tanks from rolling. And so, uh, but it was not an easy decision, and it's not, we're not signatories to that, that agreement, but I, um, it took me a while to be convinced to do it. But the main thing is they either have the weapon to stop the Russians now from their, keep them from stopping the Ukrainian offensive through these areas, or uh, they don't, and I think they needed them.